This is a story from Dave Gray's Liminal Thinking, and it's called Two Possible Worlds. So this guy gets this dog, and it's from a shelter. Brings it home to the family. Everyone loves the dog. Three years into the future, everything's okay. No problems with the dog. So to celebrate the third birthday, they decide to get him a giant bone. And they bring the bone home, and then the dog turns into some crazy animal. Starts growling, is snapping at the kids and stuff, and so, you know, this guy is now faced with a decision. And the two possible worlds are based on two things, called a doom loop and a delight loop. The idea is that the doom and delight loops are self-fulfilling prophecies uh, based on what your beliefs are and what actions you take on behalf of that belief and then how you interpret the result. So anyway, here, let's go back to the dog. The dog snapping at everybody turns into a wolf. Okay, now there's two beliefs that you can have. Either that's a bad dog or there's a good dog. And so not knowing what the background of this dog was coming from a shelter, you know, the, the original thought was this is a bad dog. So the action on behalf of that would be to punish the dog, to take the bone away, to, you know, kind of like be very strict and say that's not how that works. So the result would be that the dog doubles down and becomes more um, animalistic and is raging out because you're trying to steal this bone, this thing that he's never had, so he's actually thinking it's a competition for food. You're thinking it's some discipline thing. The belief you have is that it's a bad dog. The action you take is that you punish the dog. The result is that the dog attacks and continues to protect, and that reinforces your belief that this is a bad dog, causing you to take more action on behalf to punish the dog. So that's one world. The other world is you believe that this is a good dog. So the owner took the dog to a Caesar Milan type dog whisperer. They said you have to spend time with the dog to change the behavior. The delight loop is based around that you believe it's a good dog, the action is you invest time to change the behaviors, and then the result is that the dog is peaceful and won't attack things and can understand that no one's trying to you know, steal its food, and then that reinforces the belief that it's a good dog. Now this story is important because every person, every dog, every situation can either be thought of as a bad situation or a good situation or a bad person or a good person. Um, and the actions we take give us the results that reinforce our beliefs. So it's up to us to decide which loop we want to live in.